Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is a quick introduction to the MUD. Um, what is the MUD? Multi-user dungeon. All right, it's a completely text-based game. Here's how it's, it works. It starts, but I wanted to give an explanation first. My kids, they usually read at nighttime. I give them about 10, 15 minutes, and they lay in bed reading books and get like calm down for bed. It's been great. It's been wonderful. But we're getting towards the end of the school year. Like School's ending this week. So what do we do? Um, I still wanted to encourage them to go and read, and it still helps, but I'm going to kind of run out of books. So the idea was to um, give you guys their setups and what we do as a family to read at nighttime. And parents, please listen. This works. It's fun. It's You should join in as well. A MUD is a multi-user dungeon. It's a completely text-based video game, and it's online with multiple players and awesomeness. So here's how to go, go about it, and is, I'm going to post this inside my Discord, so these are going to be the instructions on how to. First things first is you're going to need what's called the Mush Client. All right, Go to Google, search Mush Client. This will be the, the link that you're going to want to go to. Click on that one right there. Go over here. If you want to donate, you can absolutely go for it. Click on the download mush client right here and download the Windows version right there. That's the current installer. Once you get it installed, you're going to be presented with a window that looks kind of like this. So the mush client is how you get to a MUD. Um, there are multiple MUDs. The one that I play, the one that I'm on constantly, I've been there since 1994, is gatewaymud.org. So that's what we're going to do. We go over to our MUD. We're going to create new world right here, the little top left-hand button. Uh, and then, oh gosh, you can't see that. Let's add uh, window capture. Perfect. Go, go, go. And it's going to be configuration. There we go. It'll pop up right here in the middle, just like this. Uh, it's going to ask you for an IP address and some configuration file stuff. Up here at the top, you're going to type in gateway. All right. Um, the TCP slash IP address is going to be gatewaymud.org. And you're going to change this port number right here to 6969. Hit OK and now you're into gateway all right this is the complete text base to change the size of this because nowadays like it, back in the day it wasn't that big we didn't have big screen resolution so you get these little b text that used to stretch across the entire screen um the way that you get this bigger is go to um file then global preferences no is it world world pref world properties there we go world properties the same screen that we were in Go to the appearance and the output window right there. Um, override the default, select your font, and change this to like courier new, maybe courier something nice. And then size, let's go with 24. Oh, maybe 18. Let's go, let's go 18. Hit OK. Changes the size of the font. Awesome. Now we can read and we can see and all this good stuff. So when you first get into Gateway, you're going to be presented with this screen. It's going to give you beyond the shimmering doors or the portals, blah, blah, blah. blah. Okay, yeah. Um, your options are enter the Gateway, visit the Gateway as a guest, create a new character, display information, and literally you're going to type your commands down here at the bottom, and that's what it does. So I'm going to create a new character called my test char. Uh, no such character exists on Gateway. Would you like to create it? Yes. Enter. Welcome to Gateway, my test char. What is your password? Awesome. Password confirmed. Awesome. And then blah at blah.com. It's going to ask you for an email. Just type in your email. Welcome to Gateway, my test char. In order to create characters, blah, blah, first you need to... All right, okay. Let's just scooch through this. Um, your choices are you can be a human, an elf, a dwarf, a gnome, a halfling, a pixie, an ogre, or a goblin. If you need help on those, you can type help and then the race name. I'm just going to be a human. Human. Into the gender. Male or female. I'm going to be a male. 
Um, have you? Uh, do you have a previous character that's bigger than fifty percent? I'm gonna say the majority of you don't even know what this is, so it's gonna be a no. So um, I'm just gonna type no. Would you like to use ANSI? A N S I. American National. Uh, wait. American National Standard for Information Interchange. ANSI. So yes. The reason you want to do yes is because it'll give you colors. Uh, shimmering portal appears. Hit enter, 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 enter. I have no mail. There. This is the screen that, that normally appears. The yellow text up here at the top tells me the room name. I'm in the Gateway's Newbie Reception Center. The yellow text in between tells me the description of the room, what I'm, where I'm at, what I'm looking at. This is the Gateway's Newbie Reception Area. There are a number of comfortable looking chairs here, as well as a table upon which several intriguing scrolls have been placed. It might be worthwhile to pause for a moment and read some of the scrolls. Two shimmering portals are set into the walls of, the, of this room. Try some commands like look, who, read sign, gossip hello. When you are ready, type tour, and a guided tour. Of, you will be guided on a tour of Gateway. Um, that's really up to you. The obvious exits are all in red, and the obvious exits in this room are north and south. Um, all these link dead statues. These are pre people who were trying to play earlier and either couldn't get out of the reception room or didn't know what they were doing. Good job getting this far, guys. Like. It's, it, it's awesome. Um, so I'm just going to head north from here. North. Uh, it's going to stop me and say, whoa, are you sure you don't want to read? I already know what I'm doing. North. So you don't have to type north. You can just type in to go north, south, west, east, south, north. Just a single letter of the direction you want to go should suffice to get you around. Um, you can do things like look which will take a description of the room. Uh, you can look at specific items inside the room. So like in this description, it says the newbie stand. You are standing at the intersection of Maine and Royal. The Royal Church is off to your west. The general store is off to the southeast and the Ventures Guild is off to the southwest. So if I look at the newbie stand, which is here, right here, it says newbie stand. I'm just gonna type look newbie stand. This stand was placed here to help new players in Gateway. There is a posted sign on the stand. So I'm going to type read sign. It says, are you a new player? Are you tired of trying to scrape up enough money to buy armor and weapons? Simply type newbie and we will lend you a sword and a cloak for you to use until you get established. So let's type newbie. Yay! The attendant smiles and hand, hands you a short sword and a brown cloak. Fare thee well, a young adventurer. Attendant also hands you a scroll. All right. Now, if I want to look at stuff that's inside my my inventory, I just type I for inventory. It says I am currently carrying a scroll, a sword, and a cloak. So I'm going to type um, wear cloak, and I'm going to type wield sword. Now I could just could have just typed equip and it would have equipped everything possible. Usually the best items get equipped first. Um, and I can do read scroll. And then it'll give you a rundown. Um, one of the best places to start, it has a quest, it has monsters, is go four east from the newbie stand. One, two, three, four. You're gonna be standing at a bronze statue in the fountain square. And then head northeast three times. One, Oops, one, two, three. And then from here, you should be able to go to the east. If you're standing at the adventurer's training entrance, then you found the right place. Just to the east, east, just to the east of here, there's going to be this huge area with all these ghouls and skeletons and stuff like that. They're really low level. They're meant for adventurers like you who are just starting out to go and kill and train and have fun. If you get lost at any time, or if you get confused, or if it's just too much, just type the word quit. And then when you're ready, come back in, reconnect, and you'll be back at the newbie stand. You won't get to keep your equipment, you won't get to keep your items or anything like that. There's storage boxes, and you can learn about that later. Again, this is just a quick rundown of how to use the game, how to get interested in it, and here's the kicker. Inside this game, somewhere inside the first city where the newbie stand is, I've hidden a post. Um, the post had a link to my private server that I was playing on stream last night. And if you find that, 
be the first person to post it inside the photos of my Discord, and you will get a friendship. That's right. The first person to find the post and post it to my photos inside my Discord will get a friendship. Only the first one. But I hope to do more challenges like this in the future, and I hope it sparks interest in you making your own maps and doing all the things that interest it's interested me whenever I was growing up and actually helped me to read. So, love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video. But again, this is just a training video that's supposed to be inside my Discord for when you guys are ready to come in and play a text-based MUD. Have a great night. I'm going to talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.